DJI Mini 3 is one of the most anticipated upcoming drones. Fans have been waiting for months to get the latest details and specifications on the DJI Mini 3. But sadly, DJI itself has been pretty silent on the matter. Here is everything we know about the new updates for the DJI Mini 3. We have been regularly covering the latest DJI Mini 3 leaks and details as they come along. So, if you want to stay in the loop about new developments regarding DJI Mini 3 or other popular drones, don't forget to subscribe to the Drone Diary. Now let us jump into the exciting new leaks for the DJI Mini 3. Just a week back, the popular drone magazine Drone XL published that DJI would be releasing the DJI Mini 3 on November 15th. That was less than a month or so away. This news got everyone excited as fans had been waiting for the DJI Mini 3 for months. But sadly, just a few days ago, Drone XL came out and revealed that the previous information they published was false. An official DJI representative reached out to Drone XL and told them that there were no plans within the company for the DJI Mini 3. According to Drone XL, the spokesperson clearly said that DJI didn't have any plans to release the DJI Mini 3. But it is also important to note that back in June, DJI's public relations director had told Drone XL that they wouldn't be selling the DJI Mini SE in the US and EU. And then they did end up selling the DJI Mini SE in the US a month later. So, while a lot of people are convinced that DJI is honest right now, it doesn't mean that they can't do a surprise drop of the DJI Mini 3 in the future. DJI Mini 3 will be the successor to DJI Mini 2. The DJI Mini 2 was an instant fan favorite when it came a year ago. It grew a massive following among drone enthusiasts for being one of the best small drones on the market. And fans are expecting the same quality and experience from the DJI Mini 3. Other DJI products that will be coming soon are DJI Mavic 3, which is set to release on 20th October. We have previously covered everything you need to know about the DJI Mavic 3 on our channel, so do check it out for the latest information. DJI also plans to release the DJI Action 2 on the 27th of October. The DJI Action 2 is a wearable camera for people looking to make high-quality first-person experience videos like skydiving and doing other adrenaline junkie things. What did we know so far? For those of you who are unaware of what to expect from the DJI Mini 3, here is a little brief run-through of what we know so far. Like its predecessor the DJI Mini 2, DJI Mini 3 will also be a sub 250 gram drone. This means it is perfect for those drone pilots that like a light and portable drone. But don't let the small size and form factor fool you. The DJI Mini 3 is rumored to pack a punch. Thanks to reliable sources and industry experts, we know that DJI Mini 3 will have a camera that supports recordings at 4K 60fps. It is highly expected that DJI goes with at least 4K 60fps capability to improve upon the DJI Mini 2. We can also expect something like a 2x lossless zoom from the DJI Mini 3 as other market competitors are now offering similar features. In terms of the range, the DJI Mini 2 could easily run well at the 10km range. But now that DJI has come with their OcuSync 3.0 technology, we can expect the range to increase as well. Somewhere around 12km is resorbable to expect from DJI. We already saw DJI's OcuSync 3.0 technology in their DJI FPV drone, so we will see it in future drones as well. We have already done a review video on the DJI FPV if you want to check it out. We can expect a 1080p live stream to your phone with the DJI Mini 3 using their latest tech. Overall better connectivity and frame rate are a given as well. What this also means that the DJI Mini 3 will have the potential to be used with DJI FPV goggles 2.0 or even other third-part FPV goggles. Even the ones that work with your phone. The DJI Mini 2 had no sensors for its obstacle avoidance system, so we can also expect sensors on the B DJI Mini 3 as an improvement. This would mean DJI Mini 3 would have a better awareness of its surroundings and overall improved obstacle avoidance systems. The addition of these sensors could also mean that DJI Mini 3 would work with DJI's Active Track 4.0. This is where the drone can follow you around and avoid any obstacles in the way. This feature recently came to DJI Air 2. But these are still rumors nothing is confirmed by DJI. And one of the main reasons DJI didn't add obstacle sensors on the DJI Mini 2 was because they were afraid of overheating. DJI Mini has a really small form factor. So, cramming a lot of electronics in a very tight space without any way to vent the heat can become a problem. This is because electronics generate a lot of heat. 
This is not a problem with drones that are larger in size and allow larger vents for good airflow. But for a sub 250 gram drone, adjusting all these sensors in such a small space can be a problem. Other technologies that we have seen in recent DJI drones may also come to the DJI Mini 3. So new features that came as part of Focus Track like Spotlight 2.0, Point of Interest 3, 0, and Active Track 4.0 are also expected to come in the DJI Mini 3. But with all these new features and capabilities, we might see a price hike for the DJI Mini 3 as compared to its sequel DJI Mini 2 that came out last year. The DJI Mini 2 costs $449, we can expect the DJI Minimum 3 to cost somewhere in the area of $499 for its basic package when it does come out. Subscribe to our channel if you want to stay in the loop about all the happenings within the drone space. In the meantime, check out details on other DJI drones on our channel. Like the upcoming DJI Mavic 3.